What's up guys, it's Brian from Turismo, and today, oh, check it out. We are going to finally, finally wash the car. I haven't washed this car since March or April, but uh, here we go. This is probably the part that everybody likes the most. This is a cheap foam cannon that I got off of Amazon or something. I did the orifice upgrade and the little filter upgrade, and my glasses are all fogged up. Now it's time to foam. I've got about three ounces of Americana Global Soap in the can and filled it up the rest of the way with distilled water. that cling. It's clinging, but at the same time, look at it all move as one mass. Same thing on the window. Look at that. Like a giant dirt eraser. You guys realize how this works, right? Like the soap, you don't just spray the soap on there. It smells good or whatever. The soap is going to really help break down some of the Dust, dirt, particles. The action of it sliding down the side of the car is pulling that stuff off of the car. Meaning when you get your wash mitt and go to town, you've got less stuff on the surface of the car that you're rubbing around. Look how much I used. Not even half to the whole car. Again, your results may vary. All right, time to hand wash. You're not coming along for that. It's too hard to wash and hold the camera. Hand washing accomplished. So now it's time to rinse with deionized water from a spot-free source. I happen to like the DIW20. I have one over there on the wall. If you'd like one, you can hit me up at beatreesma.com send me an email or reply to this video and we can talk about it. It's starting to get dark but the camera's still picking it up pretty well. So I did a uh, hand wash, rinse with the ionized water. I did a walk around with an all-purpose cleaner. I just sort of sprayed it on, misted it on and let it dwell for a minute and sprayed it off. Now I'm gonna go with uh, a homemade bottle again of some release. And I'm gonna try to pull some iron off of the paint. See how that does. You won't be able to see it because it's black. Okay, I sprayed on the release. I'm letting it dwell. I'm not gonna let it dwell much longer because, um, yeah, you just don't need to. Um, so, this is the first can or bottle of release that I've ever used that smelled like that. And I gotta say, it's a lot better. I have to check with the brand rep and make sure that um, there wasn't a mistake or something because it smells that much better than the typical release or iron pull-out remover. Now, this stuff needs to be rinsed thoroughly so it deactivates and gets off the surface. All right, it's finally done. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's not fully dry. It's kind of dry. I can't use a leaf blower now because it's nine o'clock. In the neighborhood, but um, it's mostly dry. It's deionized water, and everything was pH neutral, and it's not sunny out. So, oh, and I rinsed it very thoroughly. So, just stick it in there and turn the fan on. It's, I guess that's going to be the end of this video. That's just really how to wash it to get it ready for the next step, which will be for me. I got to go along all the edges. And it's just not a lot, I guess, but tape off the plastics here and around the windows 
because I am going to hit this with some finesse to try to get all the water spots off, or a majority of them. Once the finesse is done, I can finally put on a top coat. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, please remember to subscribe to the channel. If you get a chance, check out some of the other videos. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think if you've tried the Americana Global products. And until next video, please uh, remember to keep right and pass left.